So when we talk about making foam popper heads for different types of flies, first thing we need to talk about is the foam. You can go to local craft stores and get sheets of foam like this. They're little foamies. These are two millimeter thick, not very wide, but price 59 cents. I think it's 79 cents now or something since I bought this. They also occasionally sell them in a six millimeter size, which is fairly thick for small flies. But if you want to just make a head out of this, you could actually do that. And then also Borden's hairline now sells fly foam. That's actually a four millimeter thick piece. But you can see from looking at it from the sheen of it, these are a tighter closed cell foam, meaning the cells are a lot smaller. This is also closed cell, but it's a bigger foam. So it works a bit better for bigger flies. If you make a uh, popper head out of this material and do four layers, you'll get a nice little bluegill type popper head for that. If you use the thicker material and do four layers, you'll get a much larger, longer head that works actually better for uh, bass flies because it's a much bigger and lighter piece of foam that will cast a lot easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these pieces of foam, I'm going to cut it four ways, I'm going to do the same with some black, so I'll get four pieces out of it, and I'm going to take these outside and I'm going to spray them with 3M's 77 super spray it will stick them together permanently and let me show you how to do that so i'm outside where i can spray this this has quite a few fumes to it also this spray adhesive and what i'm using is uh, super 77 from 3m i've got these laid out in a particular order so when i spray them i can fold these two over spray these sides fold them all together and i'll have black yellow black yellow so i've got them laid out alternating like that for a reason and I always work from the outside in that way I'm sure to get them always in the right order uh, that I want them in so let's shake the spray up a little bit a little test spray I'm just going to coat them evenly you want this to permanently stick and not come apart so you want a nice even coat of spray because you're going to make some small flies with these so you want everything coated quite well so I'm going to take my outside one Lay it on the outside room. This side sticks to the paper. This adhesive is very good. It sticks a lot of times places you don't want. So now I'm going to spray this side. Again, a good even coat. You always remember if you're alternating black, yellow, black, yellow, or whatever colors, that way you get them in the right order. Peel those up. Put them down. Got my black, yellow, black, yellow. Weight them down and show you how to do that so they stick well. So now that I've got those four sprayed, the simplest way to hold them nice and firm until they set up is just some books. And these will set on there for about 12 hours. It'll allow that adhesive to really bond those layers together so when you tie your flies, they won't come apart. If you have access to other types of things, uh, plywood, weights of any kind will work on that. I've actually repurposed an old photo dry mount press that I can pop those things in, close them down, and they'll be held nice and tight until they set up. Now, what we're going to use to make our actual heads are these set of punches or similar ones. Uh, this particular one I'm showing you because they come from Harbor Freight Tools, a little stock keeping unit up here of P3838. This is a nine piece set of punches that would allow you to make everything from half inch all the way down to 330 seconds. So half inch is one of my favorite sizes and it's all this is is sharp on one end. It's got a holder on the side where things will come up and out of it. You set it on the material and hit it with a hammer. Now, this one makes the large size, like I showed you, the large popper ones. You can get down into the quarter inch, make the smaller bluegill size, and even if you want to take it down to dry flies for trout, use the real smallest one. You can even do little bitty heads or little bitty fly bodies for like bees and things. Now, these are not the highest quality tools. It's also 
possible to buy commercial grade punches. This whole set will cost you like $6 or something. These might cost you $15 or $20 a piece. These are a lot heavier duty, more heavy duty. Uh, will a lot of times cut cleaner and last longer. You can see that that 3 16 and the half inch I've used quite a bit because I've actually pounded them pretty flat. But that's over years and years of use. One thing you'll need to do with, no matter which of these you get, is first thing is to sharpen them. Now, sharpening them might not be quite the right word. They come pretty sharp. Not sharp enough to cut, but fairly sharp for a commercial grade tool. So what we're gonna do is take some emery cloth and tear off a small piece of this. And all we wanna do is kind of fold it over a couple times and make ourselves a little piece of material that we can use and go around the inside of these. And all you're doing is taking off any rough edges. Because there will be little bits of finish and things on the inside that will make that edge not as sharp as it could be. Once you've gone around and done the inside, if you take the piece of cloth, and these are about a 45 degree bevel. You want to get that bevel about right and just do this and just take off any other burrs that might be around the outside. So you get a really nice shiny, you can see that sparkle, that shiny clean edge there. That's a nice sharp tool that's going to make a good clean cut. After my foam is cured, I'm going to be able to use it to punch my heads out of. This is a, a two millimeter black, yellow, black, yellow. I showed you how I put that together with the spray. Now for this particular combination, I like to do popper heads for little bluegill poppers. So I'm using a one quarter inch plug, one fourth inch plug. And I'm also doing a one eighth inch, which works really well for bees, for little dry flies, look like bees. So all you need to do this is you need a hardwood because you're gonna mark this up. You're gonna make little holes in this with the punch. So you want a hardwood and somewhere nice and solid. This is my, my workbench to pound on. You don't wanna do this on your dining room table. Uh, it will leave little marks in it and also make your family very unhappy with the noise. So I'm gonna just set the foam on there. I'm gonna start out with the quarter inch one and I've got a fairly large hammer just because I don't like to have to swing it hard. You want some weight. So I'm just gonna set the punch right on there. I'm gonna push it straight down, hold it as straight up and down as I can, and hit it. And what that makes is a nice little circular popper head. And you can just keep working on it. Every one you hit, it's gonna make another little head and they will come up out of there and shoot off to the side. So you just retrieve them and just keep working. And you can see how many heads you can get out of one little piece of foam. This is foam that cost me about a buck and a half, the cost of the spray, and uh, probably a hundred popper heads. Sometimes they don't work all the way out if you didn't get them cut clear through, but usually they will just push out like that. Now also we can take this same foam and do little bees. So I'm gonna punch some little holes out of that. And that'll make a nice little black and yellow bee bodies for dry flies. Try to do it all in one, one shot with the hammer. If you have to go back, sometimes it'll make little blurred edges, but you can see the technique. So a watcher asked me, so what happens if I don't want to put this down and pound on it? I'm not that good with the hammer. What can I do? Well, I've got a simple solution for that taken some blocks of wood and you just drill a hole in them that's just big enough for your punch to go through. Just a piece of two before. So all you have to do if you're doing like these uh, popper bodies with the quarter inch, quarter inch is you just look down the hole and you find this bare spot in the foam. I'm sighting down there. You just drop the, the uh, punch right in there and hit it. That way you don't have to try to uh, hold the punch straight and worry about your fingers. So that's just a little extra savings, uh, finger saving advice there for fly tires if you don't want to hit your fingers a lot and they're not that ha handy with a uh, hammer. So now you know how I make my fly head poppers and my little bodies for dry flies. If you stay tuned to uh, 
videos two, three, and four in this series. I'll show you how to take these and turn them into a little dry bee fly, how to make those into a bluegill popper that's extremely effective, and how to tie larger heads into a couple of my favorite uh, bass patterns. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.